one of the drivers who competed at the RCA Dome is here this weekend. He is open wheel standout Davy Hamilton. I had a chance to sit down and talk with the Idaho native and super modified superstar on a variety of subjects. Both my parents uh, got my first race car for me, which was about a $1,500 race car, but I couldn't afford it at the time, and, and I drove it for a year, and then after that first year, which was 1980, um, I've had rides ever since. I've been hired to drive race cars. I think Billy Vukovic made Davy Hamilton a, a, a great race driver, I mean, in the Super Modified race. I wasn't winning a lot in the Super Modified, I would win every now and then. And then Billy and I became friends, and uh, the best of friends, more like brothers. We stayed together, we traveled together, and, and we knew what each other was doing at all times. And for three years in the Super Modified race out on the West Coast, um, either he or I won, and I think the reason is we were bringing the best out of each other. We rode the racetrack together in the same car, but when we got on that racetrack, we wanted to beat each other, and, and we proceeded to do that for three years until, you know, he was killed. As has been the case much too often in 1990, we must tell you about yet another death in the auto racing family. Billy Vukovic III was killed in a sprint car crash last Sunday morning in California. And that was the, a big blow to me. I, I, it was uh, a loss I've never felt before. Um, I know it's just like it was like my brother. And, and he, he, like I say, he brought the very best out of me. And, and um, after it was all over, and um, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know if I wanted to continue on racing. I didn't know if I wanted to, uh, you know, find some other occupation or career. And, and um, at that time, I said, ah, you know, Billy would want me to race. I got up to speed fairly good and uh, fairly easy, and then we, you know, just out of nowhere, we had a wheel break. It could have happened to anybody. It could happen to the fastest guy and, or the slowest guy, but it just happened to us, and, and it was unfortunate. And, um, it broke my ankle, but I came out of that accident um, with a lot of, uh, lot of fear, I guess, a little bit. You know, it wasn't fun at all, and, uh, but I know I didn't make a mistake. It was, it was a failure of equipment by nobody's fault. And I wanted to get back involved in it. And when, when I did, I guess I didn't realize what I was, um, you know, a lot of people look at it and say, man, you did a great job. You had a broken foot, and, you know, you went as fast as you did, and, and everything went good. Well, I didn't, I didn't really see that part of it. I just wanted to get in that race. No fear whatsoever here, though. He is out and running at better than 226 miles an hour. I felt 100% actually when I was in the car, even though I wasn't. And he's in trouble. There's something gone wrong Davey here. Hamilton, something gone badly wrong in Davey, Davey Hamilton's run. This is not a fast lap. And I didn't make the Indy 500, so man, that was fun. I enjoyed it, and I want to do it again. I think there's pressure all the way around. You know, I want to do well because I want to see all the short track guys that I race with every Saturday night. Be involved in IndyCar racing. I know it's a lot of their dreams, and there's a lot of guys that have plenty of talent to do that and, um, and can be real competitive. Determination, I think, is the biggest part of it. I mean, it's something that I wanted, and I think that the more people told me I couldn't do it by living in Idaho, the more I wanted to do it. And um, it's taken a lot of work, and, but it's, it's paid off.